The tripods from the War of the Worlds movie were very tall vehicles that were the giant biomechanic war machines programmed to exterminate the human race and cause astronomical destruction to Earth. These machines were lethal. They weren't the main aliens, but they were rather the vehicles manned by the aliens that were invading Earth. In the movie, they have long tentacles, and even though they were very large, they could use each of these tentacles with lights on the end of them to find their targets and to grab them and pull them into the vehicles, just in case any humans escaped. These tentacles also had the ability to see and had some kind of camera apparatus on the end of them. Like hoses, they had the ability to stretch to ridiculous lengths in order to find escaped humans and to go into nooks and crannies, and to also go very far where the ship or the vehicle could not follow. They also had the ability to detect sound. The aliens themselves who resembled the tripods were three-legged creatures with these huge heads. They were much taller than humans and had eyes and could see. They also had very short arms for picking up things and interacting with their environment. With them having such large eyes, it's believed that they could probably see very well in the dark. They probably have this body plan to traverse against areas that are very rocky or treacherous, so their legs would have to be very long to aid them in climbing and navigating their environment. Possibly even caves as well. They're very intelligent, obviously, because they built these large tripod things to eradicate humankind. But we're not here to talk about the aliens themselves, the race. We're here to talk about their machines, the things that they use to do their dirty work, the machines that they use to kill human beings in the blink of an eye, and also to siphon their blood and flesh. Machines that were very large, but also very elegant and flexible. And like their owners, were able to traverse a variety of terrain. The heads of these machines could swivel and turn 360 degrees. They also had tentacles that could lift people into the air and put them in the machines. These machines could navigate the land and also navigate the water. They could appear from underground, and are basically good at hiding in plain sight and being quite stealthy. They were very intimidating as they let out what sounded like a ship horn, but their most aggressive feature is their incinerating rays. Getting hit by these rays means instant incineration. Humans and all living things were reduced to a pile of ash. Actually, their flesh was. Their clothes still remained intact, but their living flesh was just made into instant cake powder. Just like that, one minute you were there, the next minute your freaking Thanos snapped. So what would happen if the white spikes were invading Earth at the same time the War of the Worlds tripods were? These creatures are known as white spikes. They're an aggressive alien race of predators that were bioengineered by another alien race as a sort of weapon or to planet clear, similar to what the tripods do. Except these creatures aren't machines. They might have been bred to be machines, but they are thinking creatures. They have a ridiculously fast rate of reproduction. They're strong. They can run, jump, climb, swarm, run without getting tired, coordinate. They have queens that are even bigger than the rest of them and can pump out babies every few seconds. They have razor sharp teeth, high level of intelligence, tentacles that can shoot out spiky things, armor plated backs, and their Akami looking queen is even more intelligent than the rest of the horde. The greatest strength that the white spikes have is their numbers. They can easily overcome any force with just their numbers alone. Alone. They also have a very high pain tolerance, so even if they're hit by weaponry, they will not stop coming, as they are engineered to feel this way or not feel any pain. They can also swim. There's almost nowhere these creatures can trek. This is not an alien horde that you want invading you. Their bites are also very strong, so much so that they can easily bite through steel and cast iron. So, let's say the tripods came to Earth as these creatures were invading. Hoo that would be pretty interesting, because surely enough the tripods would see these things as a threat. They would be like, what the frick is going on? And as the tripods are invading and the white spikes start coming out from the crevices from those melting ice caps, the tripods are going to get very upset. The white spikes would see these as a threat, no doubt. The problem is the white spikes wouldn't stand a chance. Sure, their numbers would overcome the tripods pretty quickly, but the tripods have an advantage. Their incineration ray, or god ray, or reaper ray, whatever the hell you're supposed to call that thing. That is something the white spikes cannot outsmart. Imagine a flash of light just killing hundreds of you in seconds. That incineration ray would cause instant eating at the white spikes expense. Imagine thousands upon thousands of the white spikes instantly turning into dry season in the Sasson Goya that you have in your cupboard in literally the blink of an eye. As badass as the white spikes are, as intelligent as they are, as much as they would try and put so much effort into over
overcoming the tripods, swarming the tripods completely, they could not get into the ships, and they would be incinerated on the spot. Eventually, the population could not keep up with this god tier and brand new apex predator. Sure, the aliens themselves would be no match for the white spikes. Rather, the white spikes would make quick work of them, but the tripods are just too powerful of machines. And the thing is, there doesn't even need to be a lot of tripods for them to do earth-shattering damage. I mean, the only reason these things lose in the first place to the humans is because they got sick. It was a passive ability that we had, and it was just her germs and the aliens couldn't take it. Then they started malfunctioning the machines, which I guess you could count as a disadvantage, because it's not like the machines can man themselves. However, it doesn't matter, because the white spikes simply would be no match for this. And sure, the white spikes could try to bite their way into the alien ships, but that god ray incinerating thing would just make it too easy to obliterate the white spikes before they got a chance to do much damage. All it would come down to is if the aliens could stay healthy enough to kill off all the white spikes before they, you know, succumb to sickness. Of course, the white spikes could try to get inside the ship, but it seems as though the ship is sealed unless the aliens themselves open the door or the hatch and try to get out. Thanks so much for watching. This has been Ulturi. You ask, we answer.